Zaya. Privet. A. A. Ja, student. Anyway. Hey, everybody. Uh, this is the beginning launch of Becoming Zarya. Zarya is a character from Overwatch who, uh, she's really big and buff and Russian, which is why I was practicing Russian. This is, this is what Zarya looks like. Zarya. This is the only Zarya thing I have actually, so yeah, anyway. So, Becoming Zarya, I am going to do a Zarya cosplay, um, but in order to do that, I need to get very, very fit. So, this is week one of my special diet and um, working out six days a week. Right now, it's still quite light because, well, it has to be because if you start off really, really heavy when you're working out, you're going to hurt yourself or you're going to pull a muscle or something that like takes you out of the gym for like a few days, which is problematic. So um, yeah, be careful if you're going to do this as well. Anyway, week one has gone extremely well. I followed my diet pretty closely. I broke a few times and ate a bowl of cereal. Like, not a few times, only once. Um, <laughs> but other than that, I followed the diet really strictly. Uh, at the end of the video, you'll see my posted results of what week one looks like. I'll also share it to my new Instagram, which is um, at a long came a spider. I'm hoping that this Saria cosplay goes really, really well. I haven't ordered it yet, but more than likely, I'm going to premiere it at either Animarathon or at Yomacon. I don't know which one I will premiere Saria at, but we'll see. Anyway, so week one workout is as follows. So on arm day, I try to focus on building up some of the, the muscle that often gets overlooked. Most people, when they do arm day, they have a tendency to focus on um, curls, like arm curl, curls, because that's how you get that nice little hump when you are flexing. Oh, now I'm doing curls. Before I was doing something to focus on the larger muscle that's in your arms that will flex if you um, flex your arm forward, if that makes any sense. Uh, but now this is arm curls. These arm cur curls are actually really hard for me even though it's only, I believe, a 10 weight at this point um, because I was just getting used to it. And a uh, fun story, even though they're only 10 pound weights, I actually injured my elbow in this. <laughs> Which is why you will see in the rest of these videos, I wear an elbow brace now on the arm that I injured. Um, so be very careful, especially if you do, um, if you have the hyper, hy hyper tension? No, hyper, the joints that are very, very hyper extension. There you go. You have joints that can extend farther than what they're supposed to, your odds of injuring them are very high, and that's in fact why I injured my elbow. Surprisingly, it wasn't due to my form. <laughs> it was actually because of the elbow itself. So yeah, be very, very careful. I actually believe I did four sets this day of arm curls. I've actually minimized it to three generally now, especially since I'm increasing my weight. Um, I do three sets of 15 generally, but sometimes if I feel like I really need to build muscle, I'll do four sets of 15. 
This is another one to try and get that um, bigger muscle that's in your arm that you see when you flex your hand backwards. It doesn't actually look like I'm doing very much, but this is actually extremely hard. <laughs> Especially because this particular muscle is not one that I use very frequently. Um, I'm actually doing a heavier weight than I think I am doing now, so I should probably increase my weights. Huh. Reflection is very important. Anyway. Another fun story. When you take video of yourself in the gym your entire workout, and you're not working out with someone who makes it seem kind of normal, it's really weird. <laughs> Just a FYI for anyone who wants to record themselves working out. It's a little bit awkward at first. And since this was my first day, I was very self-conscious about it, which is why I keep like shaking my arms. Even though you can tell literally no one is looking at me. <laughs> So I have nothing to worry about. Which is why more ladies should go to the gym. You don't get stared at as often as you think you will. And now I moved on to the uh, together arm curls. I'm gonna be honest, I, I don't know what I'm doing so I don't know the names of a lot of these exercises. This is actually one of my favorites. I would use it to, oh, I'm adjusting the camera, sorry. Again, this was my first time filming, so I wasn't very used to handling the camera yet. Oh, I'm getting weights, okay. These are what I call baby weights. The baby weights are 2.5 pounders or five pounders because they're so tiny, so I call them baby weights. Uh, another fun story. <laughs> Baby weights. I actually have a lot of trouble with this one again because of the hyper extension. I think it's called that. The hyper extension of my elbow. So it can be difficult. Don't ever push yourself too far on this because you can really, really injure yourself. See? I, that's why I'm tapping. Tapping your muscles is actually something I learned from uh, Tai Chi. I think it's called Tai Chi. Um, they would tap in their muscles to loosen up the quote-unquote chakra flow going through them, or the chi. Chi? Anyway, that's where I learned it, and I actually do that when my muscles are starting to tighten up too much. I just lightly tap them, them all the way down. It, it helps, even if it's just a psychological thing. Oh, also, if you hadn't noticed, my hair is blonde in all of these videos, but if you'd watched the beginning clip, you would realize that my hair is in fact red. I dyed it. Obviously. <laughs> Very obviously. Um, so the point of this is to actually build up that bump that you get again when you flex your arm in the traditional way, that middle part of your arm that you get to flex really, really nice, the bicep, that is how, this is one of the exercises to get that bigger. I don't actually want to increase my biceps that much, just enough to get um, a decent Zarya pick in because Zarya has really huge biceps. And now it's leg day. Of course, with leg day comes squats. Look at me. Um, I've actually gotten a few critiques, constructive critiques, about my squat form, um, which is that I don't actually go low enough. So uh, as of recently, because I've recorded these videos obviously quite a bit ahead of time, like most YouTubers, um, by now my form has improved a bit. If you watch my Twitter or YouTube, or not YouTube, if you watch my Twitter Insta feed, which will be shown at the end of the video, um, you will see that I have improved my squat form a bit. I'm trying to go lower, um, and I've actually switched to a assisted squat machine to make my form better because I don't know how else to do it <laughs> without losing my balance. Um, 
Yes, so that's what I'm working on with squats. I've also added quite a bit of weight since this video. I think by now I'm up a lot higher. In this, I think I'm only using a 45 pound bar. So a 45 pound bar plus about, looks like a 2.5 of weight. So only 50 pounds. But since I hadn't worked out in forever, I'm super out of shape. Look how out of breath I am just from lifting 50 pounds. It's nothing now. It's crazy how fast you advance. Um, anyway, on a note of becoming Zarya, if you've seen the character, Zarya is a very, very big girl. And she's very, very beefy. And to be honest, I do not have the correct build to put on muscle just like Zarya does. So I want to do my version of Zarya's character, who if you go back to the title card, you will see what she looks like. Um, in order to, I'll just do like my version of her, which is very, very fit. And so that's what I intend to work on. I believe I did four sets of 15 again with my little baby weights. Um, again to try and build up muscle on most days I think I already said this but on most days when I am not sure how much um, or I'm I want to build up a lot of muscle because I feel like I'm not getting enough oomph into it I will uh, do a heavy amount of squats and now I'm back okay so I'll do more sets when I don't think that the sets that I've already done are hard enough. But uh, here, as you can see, I'm taking it very, very light. I like this machine a lot. It's similar to a squat, obviously not exactly. There are a lot of really cool variations you can do on this machine. You can do one leg variations. You can do variations to work on your calves as well. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm using it to try and form my um, thighs for right now my thighs and my butt so I am not using it for those things but uh, I think eventually I will be in for the sake of variation I will try to try those out just to give my legs some variation fun fact if you are working out and you're trying to gain muscle you should not do the exact same exercises on the exact same day. So I actually change it every two weeks. I will switch up what days I do what. Um, because if your body gets used to the time structure, you'll stop building the muscle. So you have to make sure you have variation. And within that, you have to vary it even more by doing different leg exercises every time. Um, so I switch, so I'll switch it up in between uh, different types. At first, I, I started adding machines, and then after I did all of the machines that they had for legs, I eventually had to switch it up even more. So just make sure that you're switching it up if you're doing this, because the switch up is very, very important. You want to do lots of different exercises. This machine kills me every single time I'm on it. It's called the, I, I think, the leg curl, and it is very, very, very difficult for me because I'm, I apparently never use the muscles that this works. And now we're on shoulder day, yay! I call these pull downs. I'm not sure what their actual name is. If you know their technical name, feel free to comment below because I don't know the name of it. Um, as you can see, I am switching between the front and the back. That is to make sure I'm getting both the muscles involved. Um, I can't do a very heavy weight at this point, again, because I was just restarting working out after not doing it for a long time. So I think I could only do about 40 pounds. On, I think I was 40 pounds on the front and maybe like 20 in the back. 
because the back- oh, never mind, I did 40 at the back. Huh. Anyway, this is a really good way to define your shoulders and your upper back. It will make them very muscular very quick. Um, the wider that you can spread your arms, the harder it is. So if you're doing it the way that I am doing it, and you find it too easy, you can spread your arms out wider and it will make it harder and work a different group of muscles for you. So that's one way you can modify it if you need it to be harder without adding more weight. Because maybe you have the right amount of weight, but it's still like, it's you're not getting the results you want. So you can always um, make your arms go out wider. Obviously I don't because I don't need my shoulders to be super huge. Also, I just can't do it at this point, but maybe eventually I'll be able to build up to it. We'll see what happens. Another key point to this exercise, it's something that I've struggled with a few times, um, which you'll see in some of my later videos, is um, Trying to make sure your feet are flat on the floor so that you're working the correct muscles when you do this because I have a very bad habit of like getting on my tiptoes when I do this and that's really not good. Oh look, I increased my weight. Oh, I don't remember that, but I did. Oh, now I think it's at 60? Probably. Yes. And it's a lot harder for me, obviously. Another thing you want to do is try and keep your back straight when you're doing this. Um, posture is something I've always struggled with personally. Obviously, as you can see, when I relax, my I slump over immediately. Um, but posture is extremely, extremely important whenever you're working out, especially when you're doing your back and shoulders, because you'll end up injuring yourself if you don't do it right. So be very, very careful about your form. It's something that I am constantly working on and constantly trying to perfect. This is the bench press. Now, this is predominantly for your chest muscles, and the form is kind of complicated. You can't see my form here because I'm wearing a somewhat baggy shirt. Also, I don't think I'm doing the form right at this point. Um, <laughs> but you're supposed to have a bit of an arch. So you're supposed to arch your back so that your shoulders are flat against the uh, bench and there should be a little pocket of air and then it's like your lower back and your butt depending on how far up you can push that that will help you get a stronger um pull a stronger weight and be able to do more um another thing a lot of girls think that they should skip bench press there's good reasons for girls to do chest exercises most of them a uh, fun fact and fun story. Uh, the women, if you're worried about maybe your breasts getting kind of saggy or anything like that, if you're worried about that in any way, shape, or form, chest exercises are what is going to make them perky. So if you're worried about that type of thing or you want them to be more like that, you should do some chest exercises because that's what they do. They will um, tighten the muscles in that area and thus allow them to be a bit perkier. Uh, yes, that's a fun fact. But uh, so a lot of girls don't don't skip chest day. You don't have to go as hard if you don't want to, but you shouldn't skip chest day. It, it's it's gonna help you physically if you're worried about that type of flaw. I'm not. Also, be really careful with this, um, again, because I have bad elbows, and I had actually injured my elbows at this point, because I think this was day three of my injured elbows and me suffering a lot with it. Oh, even though this is shoulder day, I decided to do abs at the end of it just for the funsies. I hadn't done abs in a while, I was curious as to how much I could do. This is one of my favorite exercises to do, and it shapes them up real, real quick. Although. Abs are dominantly diet. I don't know if you knew that. Abs are made in the kitchen. Be sure that if you want a four pack or two pack or six pack, any form of abs, any kind of pack, 
you should be watching what you're eating because if you're not eating the correct things, no matter how many, uh, what, what are these, sit-ups you can do, you will not get a six-pack. It's all about diet. Just a fun FYI. I can go into that more if you want. And it's ab time. As you can see, I am not wearing a workout shirt. That would be because I did not remember to pack one that morning. I packed the sports bra, but I did not pack the shirt. I was running late, apparently, and completely spoofed and forgot about it, but that's fine. Um, I call these hanging abs. Again, I'm not sure what their technical term is. Again, if you know the technical term, feel free to comment. I would love to know what they're actually called. Um, these are, you want to pull your knee all the way up to your chest. This targets the lower abs, which are the ones that at least I know I have the most trouble with to try and shape um, because that's where a lot of people, me included, carry their little baby fat that's super cute. Um, and also super annoying and very stubborn and difficult to get rid of. So to target that area, you do hanging abs. There's another way that you can target that area without doing the hanging abs thing, um, which you'll see in a later video. These are called Russian twists. That is the actual name. I don't know why they're called that. You can't really see it particularly well here, but I am actually lifting my feet off of the ground just barely. If you cannot, uh, if your abs aren't built up enough to where you can keep your feet off the ground, that's okay. You can put your feet on the ground while you do it and uh, still get the main exercise in. As you start working on your abs, you'll know you're improving because you'll be able to do the full form of the exercise. So that's one way you can modify it if it's too hard for you. Um, they're harder than they look, I, I promise. Um, especially if you're someone who doesn't usually work on your abs, particularly these are targeting the side part of the abs to get them more muscular. And uh, they're quite exhausting. My favorite thing to do these with is actually a medicine ball. It's a lot funner. I, that's the only reason why I enjoy using the medicine ball more than I do just an average weight. Uh, I believe in the next video I use my medicine ball that I have in my room which is a big yellow 10 pounder but here I'm only doing five pounds because I didn't want to injure myself again. Oh I'm still going at it. I think I did four sets. I did a lot of four sets this first week because I was really concerned with not building the muscle and I was worried there wouldn't be a difference when it got down to my picture of how I changed or how I didn't change. But um, there is a, a slight difference after all so that's great news. Well you'll see that eventually. Also, don't be embarrassed to do stuff like this. I know um, I'm sharing this room with some dude who's doing a lot of really big weights and I know a lot of people, especially girls, tend to get really self-conscious about what they can or can't do at the gym. It's nothing to be embarrassed by. I promise you no one's looking at you and these videos are proof because a lot of these people don't even realize I'm recording and as you can see, none of them even give me a passing glance. You're not going to get stared at as much as you think you are. So don't be self-conscious and go there and improve yourself. And yet again, now I have moved on to the uh, pull-ups that I love so much. I put these at the highest angle. If you can't do these at a super high angle, that's also okay. You can adjust, at least this type of equipment is adjustable, so you can set it at a lower angle. And I would suggest that you do that, actually, to make your uh, time easier. It's not really worth it if you can only do one or two of these at the top, like, at the top slope. So you should let it go lower so that you can do more, so that you can build the base muscle you need to do the full set. Again, these are all sets of 15. I always do sets of 15. I used to only do sets of 10 or 12 when I was working out about a year ago before I went abroad. But, um... 
now I'm, I'm sticking to around 15. I think 15 is a good number. 20 can be a little bit too much, especially if you're just starting out. So you should definitely do maybe 15. If you're very concerned, you can also do 10. But if you're doing 10, you should do a higher weight. So I would add weight to this if I was doing 10. This is all I'm eating, eggs, and this is all white meat, not the salami, but the, um, this is turkey bacon, this is for your turkey burgers, this is chicken sausage, and then this is the other thing I'm eating, which is just cheese and a whole bunch of vegetables. This is also my area, but that's turkey's. Um, the rest of the food is my roommate stuff, but, uh, yeah. The diet has been really, really difficult to keep because, you know, I want to eat other stuff. So the diet right now is predominantly, um, vegetables, lots of vegetables. And then I have a protein shake every day because I work out every day, except for Sundays. I, I don't work out on Sundays. Um, and I use, I don't use protein powder when I make a protein shake because you don't know what's in protein powder and it's actually could be really bad for you. You could be eating just straight up animal bones. You have no idea. And maybe the company doesn't know either that sells it because those are all 100% unapproved and unreviewed by the FDA. So are vitamin supplements. So, uh, I know it's really popular to use those things now but I don't because I don't know what's in them and you can't trust what is written on the packaging because there's no one to review it true story uh, so I use raw eggs for protein um, because there's actually a very very low percentage if you don't believe me you can google it of getting salmonella from raw eggs and raw eggs and boiled eggs are actually where you get the most amount of protein so doing a um doing a protein shake made with raw eggs is actually probably better for you on the protein scale i would say than protein powder because you don't actually know what's in protein powder if you don't believe me again you can google it um it is something that is not re reviewed by the fda the fda is a mess anyway i'm not gonna go into that uh yeah, so this week I'm feeling pretty good. I've got a good sleep schedule from all of this. The diet's been difficult because it's kind of boring. I think that's about it. Other than that, it's been growing great. So I'll show you week one's result. There's not a huge difference yet, but hopefully there will be by week two. See you then.